What's up, wing dingers? We've been gone for a while, but we are back and we are on our way to go get another project. Yup. Would you like to tell us what we're going to get? We're going to pick up a quad. Oh, it's, yeah. it's been sitting for a couple of years, I guess, or something like that, but it, it, it was supposed to have ran when it was parked and stuff, but the pull cord broke, so we're going to have to try and figure something out to get it started, but we might be able to use a rope or something to mount to get an actual pull cord. Yeah, it comes with extra tires, and it has like an extra engine, there's an extra frame that might not be the same frame or not, but it honestly doesn't really matter because the quad itself has an engine and it, it's supposed to be all complete, so fingers crossed. But Find out soon. Yep. Yeah. We'll keep you guys posted. What's up, Wingdingers? We went and got the quad. The guy wouldn't let us film the property, but we respect that, and he had a lot of cool cars and stuff on there. And super cool stuff. We can't really talk about it, but uh, so we got the quad. It's a little bit of a project. Needs some love. We got the seat and everything in the back of the truck. One piece of plastic, but who needs that? It's just going to get ripped off anyway. Yeah, we're just going to abuse it. But I mean, it ran when it was parked, apparently, just the uh, pull cord broke on it. And yeah, basically it didn't run for a few years after that. So um, yeah, we're gonna take the carb apart, clean the jets out and everything like that. We gotta get this free, cause this isn't moving right now. So we gotta free that up, try and get the carb cleaned. And then I don't know if we can maybe start it with a rope or something, but we'll figure that out as we go it apparently has auto start or the electric start yeah apparently it's supposed to have an electric start somewhere but i mean it does have a battery box in the back but uh yeah basically we're just going to fix it up and then we're going to take it up into the mountains and we're going to abuse it do some donuts or something oh yeah yeah that'll be fun and then it came with spare transmission and engine an extra frame and some extra tires so we're gonna get this thing unloaded and you guys get to watch hopefully it goes smooth what's he gonna do is he gonna go forward or is he gonna go backwards I don't even know oh Always going forward. Oh, look at all that water coming out. Ooh, yeah. Can you tell she's cold? it off this little lip <laughs> feeling strong bro yeah <laughs> nice well let's put this thing back on our little homemade stand we got over here yeah. you got to make do with what you got see you soon
Rip it off and just drop it. Good morning. Oh, you know what? I think the welds might have broke. Yeah, me too, man. So we might definitely need to figure out something for that, but that's okay. That's not that bad. See, I'm wondering what this little clutch thing is here. I don't know if it's a clutch or what, but it has some kind of linkage. And So the story on this thing is the guy bought it off somebody and then he was ripping around and rolled it. Yeah. And it's been sitting for how long did It's been say? sitting for like, I think seven years or something like that. It's been sitting for a while anyways. That's what the guy made it seem like, so. Yeah. Um, so we got some cleaning to do. Got to do some repairs. Yeah, a little bit of repairs. Fix some stuff here. Basically, we just want to get it running as best we can and then go abuse the shit out of it that is the plan yeah I think it's a four stroke 250 um, it feels like it has good compression too maybe oh! oh yeah it's got compression in there I can feel it and like Matt was saying earlier, we need to do some work. Yeah, we need, need to, to clean up the carb. Reattach some stuff. Here's the thing right here that spins. Figure out what some of these wires and. Oh, yeah, that spins. You know what? So if that's spinning in the carburetor, so then that means the cable itself is probably stuck somewhere. Mm. So, I mean, theoretically, if it's, yeah, we're just going to need to grease up the cable, I think. Because the uh, carburetor end still spins, so perfect. Still moves. It's not completely yeah. seized. So we're gonna move this thing because we got other stuff on the go, and we'll come back to it after. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Yeah.